Jennifer Hernandez, Legacy Mutual Mortgage. Tips to improve your credit score. I'm asked this question a lot. Uh, myself and my team, we pull on average 60 to 70 credit reports a month, so dare to say we definitely know what it takes to improve credit because we see it all the time. And so a couple of really basic things. I want to start with the largest percentage of your score, and that is utilization of revolving debt. So revolving debt is anything, uh, credit cards, a gas card, a visa, a store credit card. It's revolving, the, the balance is revolving every month. It's sometimes up, it's sometimes down. So whenever your statement cuts off in the month, like my Chase credit card cuts off on the 6th. So on the 6th, whatever my balance is, is what's reported to the bureaus. So I wanna remind you when you pull your credit at any given time, whether it's through us or some online service that you've got, you're seeing what was reported at the last month that is not live information. Creditors want to get away with as little reporting as they can because it's expensive and they don't do daily updates. So it's going to report your balance statement on the day of your statement cutoff. So keep your balances 30% of the high credit if you wanna improve your score. So that's usually the largest area of opportunity that we see. And we counsel clients on, hey, if you paid your card down to this, your score is gonna go up a certain amount of points. So the other thing that we look at in credit or that the model looks at is number of accounts. So the ideal number of accounts is two credit cards and an installment debt. So like a car loan, maybe a furniture loan, those are usually installment, That's or student loan, those are types, or mortgage, those are types of installment debt. And mixed with two, maximum three credit cards. It is not good to keep credit cards open that you don't use because you have the propensity to use them if you were to become unemployed. So unused credit that's open, you've got to close it. So I would keep the, the accounts that have the oldest seasoning first because those are the ones that you've got a track record with and if you close them, you're not, you know, you're not seasoned anymore. So seasoned credit as well, when you start to hit 24 months, 36 months, and 48 months on a card or a car loan, et cetera, that's when you start getting points back. Just think of it as it's a point banking system. So the highest number of points that we see are people that have more seasoned credit. So on the reverse side of that, if you open a brand new account, let's say you got a car loan or a brand new credit card and did a balance transfer or something like that, you're gonna have points taken away before you get them back until you reach the 12 month mark. So it's almost like starting over because that creditor doesn't know how you're gonna pay them. Even though you've got years and years of credit history, paying somebody else on time, the algorithm doesn't know how to react to that of the future possibility of how you're gonna pay them on time. People's, people's situations change all the time. Their work changes, their savings change, their lives change. And so a new credit card, you're starting with a clean slate. So be careful opening brand new cards, okay? Especially around the time that you're gonna be shopping for a mortgage. So I hope that these few tips have helped you. Definitely, we look forward to consulting with you soon. We want to be your trusted lender, and we'll talk to you at the next step. Legacy Mutual Mortgage is an equal housing opportunity lender. The opinions expressed here do not reflect those of Legacy Mutual Mortgage.